guys, Lucian here. Welcome back to the ROG Show. I know it's been a while. I've been really busy getting these cards ready for launch. Now, what we're looking at here today are some of the brand new RTX cards from NVIDIA. These are built on the touring architecture on the RTX platform. And this brings to you guys ray tracing and AI for gaming graphics. Now, we've already seen some demos from NVIDIA. This looks like phenomenal new technology when correctly implemented in games. We've yet to see the performance benchmark, so that's gonna be the next exciting thing that you'll get from all the media out there. But today, we're just gonna go ahead and go over some of the hardware features that these new graphics cards have. So let's start by talking a bit more about the Strix. What we've changed this year is we've actually gone with a new fan. This is our Axial Tech fan. The biggest change we've made is adding the ring around the outside, which you can probably see really clearly. Now what this ring does is it captures air that would normally just shoot out the side of the fan and just be dispersed. Actually that air causes a lot of noise as well, and it's air that's wasted, right? It's not getting down into the cooling array. So by putting the ring in, we capture that air, force it downward, increasing the downforce of this fan. So this is a really great new fan. It's basically better in every way. Now, that's not the only thing we've done. We've also moved from a 2.5 slot to a 2.7 slot design. So this card is pretty thick. Now, the benefit, of course, is that bigger heat sinks are pretty much always better. So by moving from the 2.5 to the 2.7 slot design, we've been able to increase the surface area, the whole cooling surface area, by 20%. This is going to be huge. So coupled with the increased downforce from the Axial Tech fan, you're going to have a way better cooling solution here with the new Strix card. Now, we've also added this metal brace. Now this is a really cool feature. So this basically reinforces the, the framing for the entire card. So the metal brace is mounted directly to the IO shield, which is also metal, as well as a metal backplate. So you've got this metal sandwich basically, and your PCB is inside. So when you screw this card into your chassis, you're gonna avoid a lot of that tension that you get with a normal card, a normal setup. Now over here on the left, we have the brand new dual card. Dual is for no-nonsense gamers. It's a pretty clean design. There's no RGB LEDs anywhere on this product. It does have the two Wingblade fans. Now, Wingblade is our high-end technology from last year, from last generation. So this was on our highest-end Strix cards from last year. We've brought that technology and trickled it down to the Dual. We've also done the 2.5 to 2.7 slot design with Dual. So even though you're moving from three fans to two fans, you still have a giant heat sink. And for the dual card, this is a huge generation to generation improvement. We have 50% more cooling surface area compared to our last generation of dual. So if you were thinking about dual last year, you'll certainly want to check out the dual from this year. It is a huge improvement. We've also included a metal backplate, which is a really nice feature to have for a mainstream card. So over here on the right is the turbo. This is for situations with restricted airflow. So what we've done is when we designed this card, we actually increased the Z height of the corner. So what this allows is even when these cards are pressed against another card or pressed against the, the side of a chassis, for example, this forces a window, a small window here of breathing room for the fan. So there will always be intake on the top here and then also on the side. So you'll pretty much be covered in any restrictive airflow situation. Now, when we redesigned the shroud, we were also able to increase the size of the fan. So we went from a 60 millimeter to an 80 millimeter dual ball bearing fan. Now, dual ball bearings are great. They will last a really, really long time. So if you want a card that is super dependable and reliable, even in a cramped environment, this is gonna be the card for you. Now, all of these cards go through a 144-hour validation process where we test them with the latest games and we do stress tests on them. 144 hours of testing on the cards to make sure that the quality is there and the thermal solution is more than adequate. So those are the brand new RTX cards from Asus and NVIDIA. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content, and now you know which card is right for you to buy when these are available. Keep your eyes on your local e-tailer and retailer. They should be coming to you very, very soon. I'm Lucian. This is the ROG Show. If you like this kind of content, give us a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.